Lucky Lear's drumming on red tape is a collision of Gene Krupp and Keith Moon. His whole performance is a perfect blend of splash and sash. Drummer Lucky Lear played as if he were ready to be rocked out from behind his kit. He remains the most physical of all hardcore drummers. Hey, you little drumheads, this is Lucky Lehrer, and this in a series, if viewed sequentially, is going to make you a better drummer. Now I'm going to go over the most important thing, which is the grip. Here's our head speed stick girl. How we hold the sticks is 100% dependent on what we're able to achieve as we try to improve becoming a drummer. If you don't hold the drum stick properly, your playing is always going to be held back. Hands are a miracle of human evolution. They've got muscles and tendons. There's all kinds of information online about different drum grips. The proper grip will prevent strain and injury and allow your hands to do what you want them to do. There's the traditional grip. There's the molar method, which basically is a thumbs up position. But I prefer a technique that was developed by Murray Spivak that's called the palms down technique, where the palms are facing down and the thumbs are facing inward. The drum sticks right here at the top crease of my middle finger, and that's the fulcrum both from my right hand and my left hand. The next finger slides on. My pinky can rest lightly on the stick, but it virtually never touches the stick. Then when I turn it over, it looks like this. My hands are very, very relaxed. The stick's about one inch over the drum head. The thumbs are pointing inward. But if I turn my hands over, this is what it looks like. With the butt of the stick resting on the brake, which is the bottom palm of my hand, I'm holding them so loosely because I'm intending that gravity and thrust create speed and precision. For more drum tips from Lucky Lehrer, make sure to check out luckylehrer.com or definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel.